So we're going to measure the temperature of the dry ice, or the evaporating dry ice. How are you doing it? So we've measured, we've, we've trapped a thermocouple in between our two pieces of, of CO2. That's slow, isn't it? Minus 92. So we're measuring a, a temperature of minus 92.5 degrees C which is slightly different from that in the literature, probably because we're in the open lab and there may be some water vapour in there and other material. No, he says do it by, don't do things by apps. Throw it in a sink of water. So look. Gosh, it's quite underwhelming. What we really need is a swimming pool. Anyway, in the true periodic video style, I'm now going to retreat to my office while Neil cleans up soap suds. <laughs> You're going to regret doing that, aren't you, boss? Possibly, possibly not. <laughs> uh, no, I'll, just, I'll just go back to my office, aren't you? I'm going to go to your office. Watch, watch when the bubbles burst, because you can see the big clouds of CO2 dropping down. It's great. So you can see the stick has been doing the, the washing up this morning. <laughs> this was his breakfast. Pound. That's how much that block was. £3.90. It's a bargain. Well, I've half a dozen. <laughs> how big's the block in there now? Still pretty big, is it? Yeah. Should we go and fish it out? It's hardly touched it. Not made much of a dent in that, have you? No. Gonna need to find a swimming pool.